It's been 75 years since D-Day. This is when Americans and British armies landed in France. They landed on these beaches. Some people don't realise that Germany nearly had their own D-Day. Four years before Germany had beaten France. And the British army retreated at Dunkirk. Germany had plans to invade England and it was called Operation Sea Line. Here you can see they planned to attack Brighton. We read about Germany invading our beaches, we made lines of defence. We thought Germany was going to get inland very quickly. Along these lines they made pillboxes. Some of these pillboxes are still around today. After Dunkirk, they made these pillboxes because they thought Germany was going to invade. These holes were for shooting out of if the Germans were invading. I like this! <laughs> this one you can hardly see it, but this is a Two, five, four. This tree above might have hidden Gip from any bombers. This is the same design as the other one. All the pillboxes need to be numbered and this is A255. This is 80 years old, but it was never used. If Germans were firing at the pillbox. Bullets will mostly go up on the outside of the pillbox, not through these small holes. This one's got a lot of growth over it. You can tell this is a, has been blocked off after the war because the bricks are a different colour. If you clear this away, you can like see the hole. We thought we missed this one, but then we had a look around and we found it. I'm going to walk all the way around and see if there's any way in. I can see one of the holes. You can see that the roots are going in. I found this space, but there's no way in. This, is, this one has been blocked off as well. I can see new bricks there, so I think they blocked it up.
A249. Two, four, eight. Imagine if there was German tanks outside and I was shooting you. It would have been very scary. This is actually in the wrong place on the internet. It was blocked up with logs on this one. Some farmers were paid five pounds from the government to take the pillboxes down but they didn't bother. That's why we still have some around. This is A245. Sounds nice and clean. This one you can see through the trees. Then that one, um, you can see um, how far they are apart. They are apart. This is the start of our second day. A lot of the pillboxes were destroyed. There were about 6,000 pillboxes when they were made and people think there's about 2,000 left. This one's a bit faded, but this is A244. This one's very different. There must have been a big gun in here. This is a normal hole like the other ones we've seen. Um, we can see the number, but and then it, the other bits have broken off, so we can't see those bits. But it's A2. The door is probably so they could get the big gun inside. There's a hedge in the way now, but this gun probably would protect the bridge, what we've just come across. That's the pillbox. That's the bridge. Next one 
is where those cows are. We don't want to deserve them. This one's A242. There's too many stinging nettles in this one so you can't see out. Loads of damage on this one again. That cow's looking better. We managed to get there without upsetting the cows. This is another one with loads of damage in the outside. You can see past the brick to the inside concrete. This one's very clean and it doesn't look like there's been any fring since the war. I don't think many people have been in here because it's good, in good condition. This is A234. Not much differences in this one, but it's interesting because it's in someone's garden. This person's built a shed next to it. I think this house was built after the war because there wouldn't be a point having a pillbox right behind it.
the pillbox is in there somewhere. This one's open, but it's tough to get to. We've cleared away in now. It might seem weird because there's loads of trees now, but look, that's the area that it was protecting. Last one we're going to do. This is number A two three two. The website doesn't know which number this is, so it's good we found it. We found all the pill boxes that we're all looking for in only two days. And we have one more place to visit. Just remember to not go on your own for our adventure. You need to have someone with you. I had my dad and he was the camera person. Some pill boxes on the website don't have their numbers. This is one that we emailed them and gave them the number and they added it on their website. This one was wrong on the Traces of War website. The website said it was in someone's garden, but it was actually here. So we emailed them and they changed it. It's quite fun to know that we added something on the website. So other people will go looking for them, they have more information that we did. This is a line made out of all the pillboxes we found. In the end, Germany did not invade. This is because they thought it was too difficult to do a beach landing. This makes it even more amazing than what we did on D-Day. Imagine me on the Maginot Line, sitting on the mine on the Maginot Line. Now it's turned out nice again, the army life is fine. Hitler can't kid us a lot, his secret weapon's tummy rot. You want to see what the sergeant's got down on the Maginot Line? Subscribe to our channel.